Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and today we are back with another speed build video of our Jurassic World Evolution 2 Sandbox series. And in this episode, we will be adding three carnivores to our park, the Velociraptor, the Dilophosaurus, and the T-Rex. But quickly, before we jump into it, let us thank our fantastic sponsor of the channel, Instant Gaming. At Instant Gaming, you can get your most favorite games with up to 70, sometimes even 90% discount. If you use the link in the description down below, you will get an amazing discount and you will also be supporting the channel. So whether you're looking for a discount on Planet Zoo, The Sims, City Skylines, Jurassic World Evolution, or any other game, go and check out the link down in the description. But before we start making habitats for them, we are going to add one habitat so we can incubate and hatch all the dinosaurs. So this habitat will be located on the right side of our main street area we built in the first episode of this series. And I think this also is the best location for this habitat as there's like this pretty steep hill on the edge of the map that you really can't make flat with the terrain tool unfortunately. So I think this works really well for like more of like a temporary habitat before all the dinosaurs are being moved to their own habitat. Now they're not actually being released in that habitat because you can just release them with the airlift right away to their right habitat. So I think at the end of this series we are just going to add one specific, I don't know which one, but we're going to add one dinosaur or two different species of dinosaurs in there to fill it up. And, and we also have some viewing galleries and stuff. So I think that is going to be totally fine in the end. So on the edge of the blue lagoons that we built in the previous episode, we are going to start with the first carnivore habitat. Now this is more of like, I think a small to medium sized habitat. And we're going to add the raptors in this area. And I later decided to also add like more of a food and drink corner as well on the edge of this habitat, which actually looks really nice because of the seating area is a little bit more raised and in comparison to like the raptor habitat. So the guests are having this really nice view into the raptor habitat itself. So I do want to give a big shout out in this video to a YouTuber named Raptor. He does a lot of Jurassic World Evolution 2 streaming on his channel right now if you're interested. And he recently hit 1 million subscribers, which is absolutely insane. So y'all should really go and check him out if you have not seen him ch his channel yet. And I will hereby dedicate this Raptor area to Raptor the YouTuber. Congratulations, because I know you are probably watching. So uh, yeah, <laughs> shout out to you, Raptor. So one thing I did notice when building these habitats, it's a lot easier to actually start with placing down the viewing galleries and after that connect everything with each other with the fences. It's really making things a lot easier to be honest. So after creating the fences of the first habitat for the raptors, I laid out the fences for another small to medium sized habitat, which is for the Dilophosaurus. I actually remember in Jurassic World Evolution 1, we were able to like combine certain carnivores with each other. I actually can't remember anymore if this was because we are playing sandbox mode all the time or that this really is a thing. So ugh, doesn't really matter. But if you guys have any suggestions with what kind of other dinosaurs we should be combining these animals that we are placing right now, definitely do let me know in the comments down below. I'm very excited to read all your suggestions of what we can combine these dinosaurs with in a later stage. So the last habitat that we will be making is a lot bigger uh, because this one is going to be for the T-Rex. In fact, I'm actually going to add two of those in this habitat. Now it's not like a lot bigger, but I think it's like twice the size of the, the raptor and the Dilophosaurus habitat, something like that. Like I, I do wanna, keep some space still for other animals like we're still going to add a lot more dinosaurs in here but I, I don't really think that we are able to add all of them in here but if we are able to combine certain dinosaurs with each other I think that's gonna make things a lot easier still but I'm not really sure if we are able if we have enough space to to really add all the dinosaurs in this series but we're going to do a lot more sandbox series also with the other parks and stuff so we're definitely going to uh, get a nice a variation in every park with different type of dinosaurs, I guess. 
Now, obviously, for all the habitats, I did play around a little bit with the water and terrain tool, and later also with the、uh, paint tool to.、Uh, Colored the terrain a little bit, but I will really start filling the habitats up once all the dinosaurs are in their habitats. Now, one thing I did forget to mention in the previous episodes is there is this one frustration with the tree brush tool. Like I already spoke about, like the hit boxes. Like I wish it would be a little bit less.、Uh, but you may have noticed, like when I use the forest brush tool. You can't really get super close to the path, so sometimes you need to grab the tropical brush tool, and that one is is basically able to get a little bit more close to the path, but still, I, I don't know. I'm so I sometimes find it a little bit too tropical, like too many palm trees. So yeah, I'm still trying to find out like what is the best way to use this tool, but. Sometimes, like you, I really try to keep a lot of space in between my fences. Sometimes in the path, for example, or like leave open space. But you really have to keep it bigger even than you want it to be because else you can't really fill it up like you want it to be. If that makes any sense. So yeah, something like just a single tree brush tool with. Less of a hitbox would be just so amazing. I really would love that to have just just fill in those smaller gaps a little bit more. I really do hope that this is something that will be changed in a later stage, or just at least like the force tool to、uh, have it a little bit less of a hitbox. That would be just super amazing already. Now, when I zoomed out a little bit and looked over the park, I did notice that I think it's gonna look a lot better if we're going to add one or two more aviaries somewhere more in the middle of the right side for for that better viewing. We're also probably going to build some kind of hotel area so the guests can have like this really cool viewing towards the the dinosaurs around them, obviously. And we're also probably going to add some kind of monorail or or some kind of attraction at least to、uh, yeah provide some more fun and entertainment for our guests in the later stages. But I actually am not really sure yet where I want to put this. So yeah, that's probably going to be something that we're going to add somewhere at the end of this series, so I can see where I still have space and and yeah how we can fit that all in. But yeah, I think definitely for the overview of our park, it's gonna look a lot better with the contrast if we also add like more of these beautiful aviary domes. I think they look absolutely amazing. I do have to say one more thing: like Rudy Rankemo is a really good friend of mine. I will also link his channel in the description down below. He made like this huge aviary, like you can really make them humongous, basically. So he was able to detail it a lot more, which is actually really cool. So definitely go and check out his channel as well. I、uh, will link it in the description, as I just said.、Uh, I I didn't chose to go for like a big aviary because I just want to have more space for other dinosaurs as well. But it's definitely also something we're going to try. In the future as well, where we're going to focus more on the aviary and the inside, and just make it huge, so we have a lot more freedom. That will be just super amazing. Now, without further talking, let's just go and jump into the park, and let me show you guys around. Oh, this is actually funny. Your guests are complaining about the lag of amenities. I have so many. I I feel like I have so many already. Like we have a few right over here. We have a few right over here. Okay, well maybe we should start and and build something right over here as well. I think that should definitely do the trick. We already have a few right over here. I think that is that is a good idea and and try to make our guests happy and satisfied. Ah,、uh, so right over here on the right side, as I mentioned, we have this more of like a. A、hatchery habitat to make sure that we can at least incubate our dinosaurs right over here. We we don't have no, we don't have any、uh, dinosaurs at this point. But this is yeah, the steep hill. <laughs> we should actually just uh, uh, paint this a little bit more with the dirt. I see, I see that I did not really do that, but we can just give it a little bit more contrast here. I do really.、Uh, Like that a little bit more. I don't really like the shadows, as I said. Like, oh, please don't. I I <laughs> don't want to control my lighting. <laughs> It's really hard、uh, to do with this. I I can't really handle <laughs> shadows. I really don't like that. Anyway, so yeah, 
Uh, there will be dinosaurs in here in a later stage, as I mentioned, and then these uh, viewing galleries uh, will be used, of course, by any guests. So when we go right over here to the lagoons here, uh, na -na -na -na, this is the Dilophosaurus, I think. Where are you guys? I don't see them. Oh, there we go. There we go. So we're going to hide. Hello. Oh my, oh my. You're beautiful. This is the first time I'm actually seeing all the dinosaurs. And they're beautiful. Just like in the first one, I think they're absolutely amazing. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, 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 we see interactions. Oh, I love that. Oh, that is just amazing, isn't it? You are also very beautifully colored, aren't you? Wow, look at these colors as well. That looks amazing. Really, really cool. They're beautiful. Oh, look, these guys are interacting with each other as well. So those are like new things, right? With Jurassic World Evolution 2, you will see more interactions with each other. I can't remember too much of one, but I, I think there were n not really that many interactions with each other. So I think that's just really cool. Oh, I love this, by the way, that we have some trunks here as well. Like you can't really place them down yourself. I'm not really sure what I what I think of these rocks. I remember with the first one, they were more like rock formations. Um, like we can't really, you can't really uh, collide them. So I'm not really sure if I if I maybe like the rock formations more that we had in the first version. It it looks okay, but for some reason it feels like a little bit random to put them down. If that makes any sense. I don't think it's nice though. I think it looks nice. All right. Okay. So this is the raptor habitat and uh, this is the, the restaurant area that I was talking about. So this is actually a little bit higher than the habitat itself. Well, it's, it's, it, yeah, it's a little bit raised. And I think that's just really cool when the guests can look into this habitat down into uh, onto the uh, the raptors. I think that's really awesome. Hello. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at this pattern. Oh, gosh. No. <laughs> Can't see you. Get out. Get out. Yes. Look how pretty. Oh, my gosh. I love these colors. That is amazing, isn't it? Oh, you're definitely one of my favorites. <gasps> okay, yes. T Rex, pretty close, but I first want to check out. Do we have some other colors in here? I think we do. But where are you guys? Okay, wait, we can just check with the map. Okay, they're all right over here. <laughs> Oh gosh, I, I I think, yeah, they cannot escape. Oh, that color pattern is also really cool, by the way. It's less stripey, I think, than this one. Look how beautiful. Oh, that's so cool. That is really gorgeous. Oh my goodness. They're really pretty. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh man, I love these guys. I do wonder if they can, uh, how much they interact with each other. Like, it's not like I can influence that, I think. I'm afraid not. You are also really beautiful, by the way. But that, that first one, definitely my favorite color. That looks beautiful. Oh man, you look amazing. I think they did such a fantastic job on the graphics and the dinosaurs in this uh, Jurassic World Evolution 2. First one was already beautiful. Mm. 
really cool. I don't think that we are able to see so many um, interactions. Now this is, oh wait, did we already, um, oh well, I didn't do too much with these shops, just gave them a, a different front again. Didn't really recolor it and uh, just uh, put down some picnic benches or uh, <laughs> some tables with chairs and canopies. They're not really picnic benches. I'm, I'm, I played too much Planet Zoo, I guess. <laughs> so here we have the um, T-Rex. So we have two different, well, no, they are the same color pattern, I think. But look at this. Look how gorgeous this looks with the water. That looks so beautiful, doesn't it? Absolutely amazing. I hear a T-Rex. Oh, there you are. Oh my goodness, you are gorgeous. And scary. <laughs> wow, just look at that. Okay, are you gonna war for us? <gasps> oh my god, I think you are. Oh my goodness, look at this guy. Oh my god, the graphics here with the plants and the grass. Gosh, this is so gorgeous. This looks so beautiful. I'm so amazed by how beautiful this is looking. I love it with this water. We're definitely also going to add like a baryonyx in this. <laughs> and the spinosaurus, of course, is like uh, some more, more like, yeah, well, more filled with water, more swampy, I guess. I think that definitely is uh, going to look amazing. I'm not really sure if there is like, yeah, okay. So you, you sit behind a glass right over here and have this nice viewing into uh, their habitat. Yeah, I'm I'm really happy with uh with how, how I'm, I'm happy with how this looks, but I'm I, I'm amazed by how beautiful this game looks. It's so stunning and the dinosaurs look absolutely amazing. But yeah, as I said, like we're definitely uh if you have like this overview, you can tell that you just wanna break this up a little bit more with probably one or two more aviaries. I think that's gonna look really nice, but also we're gonna have like a hotel area somewhere in the middle or something. I think that's gonna look really nice in the end. I, uh, I'm very excited so far about this series, so I do really hope that you guys enjoy. Do let me know in the comments down below, of course, and uh, yeah, give me your suggestions if we can uh, combine these carnivores with some others maybe. Leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. And yeah, also don't forget to check out the uh, instant gaming link in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I really do hope to see you guys all in the next one. Bye guys!